What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I figured it'd be a quick little fun video to do some seafoam how-tos. So if you're not familiar with seafoam, it's basically a fuel motor treatment. It uh, helps remove a bunch of just carbon deposits throughout your engine and fuel system, cleans your injectors and stuff like that. And um, this can be put inside your crankcase through your fuel system. Uh, it can be put in through the intake manifold and it just basically cleans any kind of carbon residue that might have built up. So on Dusty specifically, uh, truck has 150,000 miles on it now. We got it had 145,000. So I'm going to do the seafoam treatment. And if you're not aware on how to do it, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's dive into it. All right. So step one, we're going to do the fuel system. Basically, it cleans your injectors, your fuel lines, all of your you know, anything from the tank to where it actually fires fuel at. Uh, and how you do that is basically one ounce of this per or every gallon of fuel that your vehicle holds. So Dusty is a 32 gallon fuel tank. Right now it's got just over three quarters of uh, tank. So, you know, we're roughly 20 something gallons in there. This is a 20 ounce can. So we're gonna pour the entire contents of this can and the tank and then you basically run it through you drive it until it's you know your next fill up and it cleans as it's in the tank it will basically be from the pump all through the fuel lines up to the injectors and then spray it and then and obviously it will combust in the engine and clean your fuel system out boom so step one done again one ounce per every gallon that your vehicle holds don't overdo it don't underdo it done Step one, put your cap back on, click, done. Okay, step two, open up this kit here. Just went down to the local parts store. You can get the aerosol version of it. Um, oops. Let's make the shit out of that can. Okay, you get the aerosol version of it. Get it all opened up. And then what you're gonna do with this one is the aerosol will go into your intake manifold through your throttle body. Um, so what we'll do is we'll remove the intake hose from the air box to the throttle body and you're gonna spray the entire contents of this can in the engine while it's running, holding it at 2000 RPMs. Now you wanna do this with the engine warm. So I've already ran the vehicle um, and warmed the engine up to you know, operating temperature, turned it off. So we're gonna remove the intake uh, tube, spray the entire contents of this through the throttle body with it at 2000 RPMs. And then once the contents of the can are empty, you're going to shut your vehicle off and you're going to let this wet soak inside the intake and the manifold up top. Uh, after you've waited for 10 minutes, you're going to fire your truck back up and then let it basically burn through. This is a petroleum based uh, cleaning solution or solvent basically. So it will not harm anything on the upper end of the engine. So the smoke coming out your tailpipe is totally normal. It'll blow a bunch of smoke. You'll see that here in a minute. Um, out the tailpipe. And that's basically freeing up any carbon deposit inside the manifold. And then of course the top of the, the lifters. Um, well, the lifters in the crankcase, but the, the valves on the upper heads. So anyway, this cleans the whole top end of your engine. So let's go ahead and get it over. Shut her off. All right, we'll shut it off. And then we will reinstall the intake tube. Let it sit for 10 minutes, fire it back up and let everything burn out of it basically. Okay, so Dusty has now set for 10 minutes. Turn this camera back on so you guys can see all the smoke coming out the rear end. So let's fire it back up. 
Also, I already put the uh, intake tubes back on, so everything's buttoned up up here. Let's fire it up real quick. So I did notice that I had to rev it up to you know, about 1500 RPM to 
really get all that crud to burn out of there. Um, again, smoke is totally normal. You'll notice the smoke is sort of a blue color because this cleaner is a petroleum based solvent. So it will not harm anything. So don't freak out. You're not going to damage the uh, top of your engine. Uh, basically that cleans the manifold and the valves and stuff. So that's pretty much burned through. Now we're going to do the crankcase treatments. So let's get after that. Okay, so we've done the fuel system. Now we've done the top engine cleaner. Last step of the seafoam treatment is the crankcase treatment. So what that means is you're basically going to be pouring seafoam directly into your crankcase. So where you put your oil in your engine, you're going to basically pour this inside your block. Now, how much are you supposed to put, right? So seafoam says one to 1.5 ounces per quart of oil that your motor holds. So this 1994 5.8 liter Windsor engine holds six quarts of oil. So I'm gonna split this in the middle and do like 1.2 per uh, six quarts. So I went and got, we have a scale in the house uh, and I got a cup over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the math and then put that much in a cup and then pour it inside the block. So let's get after it. All right, we got the handy dandy food scale here. Got a Falcon cups. You know, super professional way of measuring stuff. Put this thing on ounces. So six quarts, we're gonna do 1.25 ounces per quart. So 7.5 ounces of sea foam is what we're gonna be putting inside the block. Four, five, six, seven, point five. Boom. So that's gonna go inside the engine. We'll come over here. Take off the oil cap. And then down the hatch. So that seems kind of crazy, right? Putting a clear solvent slash cleaner through your block, right? Well, don't worry. This does not change the viscosity or the lubricating properties of the oil will not harm your engine so don't worry about doing that just as long as you don't overdo it obviously um, make sure you use the proper amount of sea foam per how many quarts of oil that your engine holds anyway once you get that in there sea foam put you guys down here get this out of the way sea foam recommends you run your motor um, 100 to 300 miles before your next oil change so i'm on the back end of my oil change interval on this. So I'm gonna, honestly guys, I'm probably gonna run about 500 miles with that stuff in there. Obviously, um, you know, their recommended uh, change is, you know, 100 to 300 miles with that inside your block. You can run it fresh on an oil change and let it run your entire course of your oil change. Um, so I'm gonna run it a little bit longer. So what this is gonna do is all the carbon deposits inside your crankcase, uh, meaning your, you know, your piston rings, your cylinder walls, your crankshaft, and it, you know, primarily your, you know, your, your oil return lines and your oil sending lines, and then your valve train. So this is gonna break up a lot of those carbon deposits that's been built up. You know, this thing's got 150,000 miles on it. I don't know how well it's been maintained. It runs really good and strong. Um, but anyway, all that residue over time through, you know, just gas and different oils and stuff, um, this is going to remove that stuff. And so another thing to do when you're doing this is prior to doing it, you can, you know, basically check your oil and then get like a white cloth, see the coloration of your oil as it is before. And then right before you have your oil change after doing the sea foam in the crankcase, typically the oil will usually be a lot darker because it's pulling all that carbon off the inside of your engine, inside the oil itself. And of course you, uh, change your oil with fresh oil and now the inside of your engine is, is super clean. So. Uh, yeah, now one thing left to do is just put some miles on it and then we'll get the oil changed next week. All right, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. That's going to be it. Told you kind of short and sweet. Um, you know, oops, you dropped the stuff. Hopefully that helps you understand how uh, you do the seafoam treatment on an older you know, vehicle to help kind of clean things up. By doing this, it should quiet down engine noise, shakes, uh, you know, valve train. Some, some, some engines have like a, you know, a lot of valve train noise. Uh, usually it'll, it'll not solve it, but you know, it'll help it a lot. A uh, little better mileage, better throttle response, faster engine starting. It's just, you know, it's just good to do in an older engine. So anyway, that's your seafoam treatment.
We'll see you in the next video.